ngayon naman may ituturo ako sa inyong uh, trick uh, doon sa Fibonacci sequence okay so halimbawa hahanapin natin po yung sum ng uh, 10 consecutive uh, Fibonacci sequence so halimbawa we have this 10 consecutive Fibonacci sequence uh, we have here 1 1 2 3 5 8 uh, 13 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we have 34 55 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so yung gagawin niyo lang dito para malaman niyo yung sum Okay, yung tanong dito, what will be the sum of this 10 con uh, consecutive Fibonacci sequence? So, uh, hahanapin nyo lang yung ika-rank number 7 or the 7th term. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 13. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, we have 13. Mumultiply lang natin siya sa 11. So, yung magiging result niya ay... 13 times 11 that is 143 so in other words the the sum of these numbers uh, is 143 so another example uh, halimbawa mag start tayo doon sa uh, 5 or 3 let me say 3 so 3 5 uh, 13 21 34, 55, 89, 144. Is that right? 55 plus 189. So 144 plus 89, 233. And so count natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The last term will be 300. 77. So, kung hahanapin natin yung sum nito, yung 10 numbers na ito, or, or Fibonacci sequence, hahanapin lang natin yung 7 term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the 7 term here is 89. So, what we need to do, just simply multiply by 11. So, we have here 89 times 11, that is equal to 979. So, ganun lang. So, the other explanation will uh, go this way. So, take note of the first term. Uh, we have this formula on a Fibonacci sequence. So, let me say that this number will be represented by y, x and y. <clears throat> take note that we have the given formula kanina, which is f sub n is equal to uh, f sub n minus 1 eh, plus f sub n minus 2. Okay? So, kung i-represent po natin ito ng x and y, of course, the first term will be x and the second term will be y. Tama? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Ayan. So, of course, the, the, the third term will be x plus y. And the next term, and the next term will be the summation of these, y and x plus y. So, in other words, that will be x plus y plus y, that is 2y. Okay? And, of course, the next term will be the sum of these. So, dalawang x, so we have 2x, and we have 3y plus 3y. Followed by the sum of these, so we have 3x plus 5y. Next, we have the 5x plus 8y. Next, we have uh, 8x plus 13y. Followed by uh, 13x plus we have 21y. And we have here... Um, 21y plus 
34 uh, 30, 21x I'm sorry 21x plus 34y okay so kung mapapansin nyo dito that the 7 term is 5x plus uh, 5x plus 8y okay so yung gagawin lang natin dito multiply lang natin siya ng 11 so we have 5x We have here 5x plus 8y okay so uh, we have this value here so kung tatanggalin natin yung value ng x and y so we can have 11 5 plus 8 that is 13 okay so kung mapapansin nyo dito in this case here the 7th term here is also 13. Same lang po dito. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you.